Hello everyone, my name is Tim Fetting and I am the Associate Dean for the School of Engineering and Advanced Manufacturing here at NTC. I am also the STEM Center Coordinator, which is where we're standing right now. We do have all the technology and fancy things in the STEM Center, but I wanted to share with you two different activities that you could pretty easily recreate at home. The first one is going to be just a mixture of a couple different items. And then what, what we're going to do is create a chemical reaction. The first thing that we're going to do is take the water bottle and a funnel and fill it halfway up with vinegar. The size of the bottle isn't real imperative to the success of this and you don't have to have exactly half a bottle but you should have approximately. The other step that you got to do is then we are going to put some baking soda into a balloon. Works well if you stretch this balloon out a little bit before you try to fill it up with baking soda. So what we're going to do is take a teaspoon. Go ahead, your container of baking soda is going to be much smaller than this, but it's just important that you get the teaspoon. And then we'll fill up the balloon. When these mix together, we're going to get a chemical reaction that's going to produce a gas. The gas will not be strong enough to expand the size of the water bottle, but that gas has to go somewhere. So our balloon should then fill up and let's see how it goes here. Try to get a good seal all the way around so none of the gas es escapes. Now, if we flip this up, it should get a reaction. The gas from the bottle enters into the balloon. That was activity one. I've got one more to show you. Our, our second little science experiment here is even a little more straightforward. Now we only have two different materials. Um, what I call this one is either oobleck is the term that I guess Dr. Seuss made famous, but really we are going to put together a mixture of two different materials. Um, I have three cups of the cornstarch located in here, and then we're gonna put that to two cups of water. So it doesn't really matter how big or how small you make this, uh, but that's the ratio that you're gonna want. Three cups of cornstarch to two cups of water. Um, as long as you maintain that ratio, you should get the right consistency. Most liquids, such as water, if you put a force on that water, its viscosity is gonna stay the same. So it's not gonna get thicker or thinner, it'll remain the same. That is the case for all Newtonian fluids, which make up the vast majority of all of our fluids. There's some that live in kind of a suspended state, and sometimes they're actually referred to as suspensions, and they kind of hover in between that solid state of matter and a liquid state of matter. So this oobleck that we're going to create, once I mix these two things together, is gonna to be a suspension that's a non-Newtonian fluid. Um, and what that means is as you apply pressure to it, its viscosity actually gets thicker. So under pressure, it's gonna act like more of a solid. And then when it's not under pressure, it acts more like a liquid. <clears throat> We're gonna whip up a small batch here. It's important that you mix it with your hands because um, it tends to stick to a spoon. So by the time we get this um, all done, I'm probably gonna have to stop and wash up a little bit. But if you took a large batch of this, similar to like the size of this table or maybe twice as long as this table, um, you can actually walk across water. So it'll be a liquid and then you can run across it. So with that said, we're gonna mix these two together. You'll know you have the right consistency when it kind of tears off your hand. I could probably make this a little bit thicker, but it's already showing the properties that I wanted. I can grab some of it with two hands and squeeze it in my hands. And it actually, it feels like a solid ball. And then when I release, it goes back to normal. So now if we had this outside, you should have enough surface tension that you could actually walk across this. I hope you enjoyed the two activities that I showed you here today and have a chance to do those at home. Hopefully you did that and it sparked some interest in STEM. That stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. We have all kinds of programs throughout the college here at NTC that are part of STEM education and would prepare you for a STEM career. Those could be in the trades and industry area, the engineering area, or even health and the medical fields. Um, all of those are science and math based programs. So come check them out. Whether you're interested in that, those programs or something similar, 
NTC's got a program for you. Hope to see you on campus someday and be sure to stop by the STEM Center when you are.